all right so like i said this is going to be the final um, day as the final session so the graduation to mention again graduation is not going to happen in the first week of april it's going to happen in the first sunday of june what this is that first sunday of june so that is going to be So that's June 2nd. June 2nd. So on June 2nd, we're going to have the matriculation of new students and also we're going to have the graduations of the old students, the one that uh, your own said that you are finishing C sharp. So the next uh, training for software testing is going to be uh, automation using Kikumba and Java. So Kikimba and Java. So if you are interested, please do enroll. So it's going to be matriculation and graduation on the 2nd of June. Then also, uh, there's other courses that we do offer also. Uh, I've sent the, uh, what's it called? The application form earlier. So look into, into that. You should be able to see. I think, I'm not sure whether. Yeah, I've sent this before. One minute, I can get that out. So, okay, the application form is here. So you can, yeah, fill in the application. Like you can say, in June, we're going to start the project management. So it's also in June that we start the introduction to software testing. So that's what we're going to do. And also the business analysis starts in May. So we're going to do the, um, the matriculation together for all these courses in, in June, first week of June then everyone is going to be on the same project so in this particular session it's going to be this is the first time that we are doing this so i'm also looking towards that so we're going to have the a4 team theme of business analysis we're going to have the project managers also as interns and also the testers also together on the same on the same course so maybe the following year we might also have development also with this so it could be so as we, we are out growing anyway, so we're going to have maybe training in development also with, with that. So let's see how that goes. So, okay. So that means the internship is going to be yeah, fun. So because it's going to be like a full team. So people will be doing different things in, in that particular uh, class. So now to graduate, I said there will be coursework that need to be submitted. So one, I said, your coursework is not new, it's what you've been doing, it's kind of a progressive. What you need to do now is, you've been given a group assignment to do, which is like, uh, I know some people have uh, automating posts, uh, some people, based on what you have on Azure, that you need to automate. So go in there as individual, start from very beginning. Don't use the app project that you've done before, start from the very beginning. And as you are doing that also, document your steps. Your steps also is part of the coursework. You need to submit a readme file, which specifies everything that you've done. As simple as, or as little as, I have uploaded, uh, installed Visual Studio. I also did uh, add NuGet package to my uh, project. I different NuGet packages that you added, you need to specify. So you need to let end for end, end to end, what you did for that particular project. And also, also you need to put your thoughts. And also you need to add the challenges that you face. Maybe I was not able to see items, I was not able to install, um, install my NuGet package properly. So you need to see, uh, we need those challenges that you face. So, because this is very, very important when you are going for interviews, you, you're able to say, have, have you done a test framework from scratch? Have you, um, do you have, did you face any challenges? It, those are interview questions. So, and it's very, very important for you to, to put them in words. I know after the, this coursework, then even after this particular training today, 
that's the end. People don't you don't go back to it. But once you're able to submit or put everything together, it's very, very important. And I said, all this should be in Git, uploaded in Git. Why did I say so? Because if you don't put upload in Git, you can lose them also. And then once it's in Git, then you can be able to, when even if you go for interviews, you can tell them that this is the, in, um, that, oh, have you done automation from scratch? Yes, I did. I even have a presence on GitHub. I can even show you right now. You can do that at interviews. It, can, it just only takes three minutes for you to bring that. So that is what I'm looking for in, during this particular coursework. And I also, I mentioned that because we also did API, you need to do a um, report on APIs. What, do, how do we automate APIs? Which tool do we use? And how do we link APIs to our code in, in VS, in, in Visual Studio? So you need, you need to also do a report on that. So uh, I think if you don't know how to, if you forgot, you look at the video for the uh, APIs. So if I quickly, one minute, so, okay. For for the steps, I quickly want to say, so if you are looking for the steps to set up the framework, you can look into class five. That's where we did these steps. Class five, the video are also split into different parts. So class five, five, one, five, two, five, three, five, four, up to five, seven. So those on that particular video is going to help you into how everything and there are quick videos, maybe five or six minutes videos in each one of them. So they are going to help you. So if you look into that video, it helps you to actually see the steps. So then you can document them. So then also if you go into the blue sky profile one, you would yeah on the APIs, I think we did the APIs. This is APIs, manual APIs um, then if you look into that, it's one hour video. Then also, as I said, the last part is SQL also. This is huge. You need to look into different SQL statements, write it down, how you can do SQL, um, different SQL statements, and also don't um, forget about the joins. So those are the coursework. I have also said, told uh, Ayade and also uh, Nemeka to write this assignment down. So. They are going to send it to everyone. So that is the coursework. So any question before we continue with the business for today? So the you don't need to submit that. What you need to do is also upload your SQL uh, report and API report into Git. Put everything in Git because I, I want you to be able to keep everything, right? Put everything in Git. So, and that, the deadline, uh, I need to say this, okay? The deadline for this coursework is in May, mid of May. We are up to, yeah, we are in March, we got April. Three, then by May fifth, let's say fifth of May, Sunday fifth of May, you need to be submitted. So everything needs to be submitted fifth of May. So then we have graduation on the sixth, on the second of June. Second of June is when we have the graduation. So deadline for the coursework is fifth of May. 5-5-2019, that's the deadline. You have almost two months. This is full of April and you have a few days in, no, okay, yeah, in March. Any other question? Okay, cool. Let's start today's so today I'm going to be honest. I would it's going to be quick. So I'm thinking that by nine o'clock we will be done. It's not going to be long. So if there's no question, so I will. Okay, before I start, I just want to ask uh, if people have different questions, different concerns, because this is your yeah final part, or you want to have feedback or something like that. 
this is the final session, right? And I don't know, you might not have the luxury to speak to me. <laughs> so this is time for you to ask your question. Yeah, sure, you can submit in bits. So that's what the Git is for. Yeah, it said, can we submit in bits? Or do you have to submit the assignment as a whole? Yeah, you can submit in, in bits. Bits is very, very, uh, like I said, you should not wait until May to start it, right? So you can submit them in Git. By you putting in, in Git, you are submitting bits. So that's what the um, Git is for. So once the first thing you create your Git, that's it. And everything that you do has to be documented. That's what the documentation is for. How do you do open Git? How do you create Git? How do you push this thing? What challenges that you face while pushing them? So that means it's very good for you as you are doing it to put a screenshot of different steps that you do, right? You are also creating your report by yourself. And so that's when you do this, you create a screenshot, you put it in Word and everything, and also you upload them to Git and it's there in Git. So that's where then you commit them. You commit them as you go. You put those screenshots, you commit them. That's, that's what I want to see. So, and also, it's also good for me also, I can be able to see the thread of how you do your project incrementally. So, and this also is going to be useful for you to know how Git works. For those guys that don't know how to use Git and you are finding it difficult, I'll quickly show you something. There is a very good app, uh, it's GitHub Desktop. You can use that. GitHub Desktop. So git of desktop. So it's you can install that. It will, so you can install that. So it helps you. You can uh, okay. Let me see if I've got download. Then so it's really useful. You can yeah clone your git of from there. Then you do everything commit and yeah. So and like I said. I did not disband the team. You can collaborate together to see, to make sure every body was able to do this. So of course, we're going to select the best team. The best team is going to be whoever they are, most of their members actually submitted this, this thing together. So and it's not like only one or two people submitted in your team and then of course you are not the best team. So we're going to have different prices that we're going to give on that particular day the best team member, the best team lead, the best mentor. I know some mentors that <laughs> are not. So we're going to have, it's going to be fun. So we're going to have those in that, uh, in the graduation day. So keep it, um, save the date. So 2nd of June, that's what we're going to, it's going to be the date for the graduation, matriculation for the new students. And also we're going to have a workshop on that day. The workshop on that day will also involve your CV writing also. I think also how do you search for jobs, what do you look into, and we're going to do different mock interviews. And also I'm looking to see some people already got jobs at that particular time. So, and yeah, so this, like I said, also there will be another phase of this internship. So, I don't want to disband the team so the team can see where, but what's going to happen is like, I need to have the names of people that are looking for jobs. I need to have, so you can send those names to Mobology. So names of people that are looking for jobs. So that will be another phase. So we know, and we can actually mentor you on what you need to do for you to get that particular jobs. How do you apply? How do your CV? So those areas, so we need to look into that. The VSTS, there's a question, the VSTS assignment, are we using our login um, password or your login? 
I don't I don't know what you mean by that. So can you expand it? So so the VSTS are we using your login? You don't have my login. Blue sky login. So I'm not sure which login you got, so to be honest, so but I'm expecting yeah. So what you need to do is basically on VSTS, right, log in with the intent at yeah and check what you are assigned to do. Check what you are assigned to do. Then from there you would yeah. So I'm not sure whether that answers your question. Do you want to speak a bit? Hello. Hello, yeah. Yeah. I mean like when we did the group um assign uh group work, we used your login because we worked with on your uh board and all that. So that's what I'm saying. Do we have to create our own or start or work from there as individuals? Oh, okay. You you are free to do whatever you want to do, right? Okay. Like I said last time, I said this is your playing ground, right? So you are going to be using the Blue Sky one, right? You are free yeah. to do whatever you want to do. You are free to open your own board in in yeah and as in Azure and then try to play with it actually. And the tool is free, so that's fine. So and also yeah. And also, you can you can use the board that we've already created. Okay, thank you. Yeah, all right, thanks. So, okay, let's continue. So, I said for the guys that are struggling with GitHub, so you can use GitHub desktop. So, and if you don't know how to do that, so you know, I think Google is your friend, YouTube is also your best pal, you can look into that. And you got your team also to assist you, it's very, very important. So, yeah, all right. So let's go. Today I'm going to go just go quickly to see what is my day to day at work or uh, if I, I'm in your shoe, I'm giving this particular test as a manual tester. I will I'm not going to go through uh, automation today, but I'm going to just look into as automation as a manual tester or even as an automated tester that I'm going to do like quick smoke tests of different sites. And what am I looking for? How do I test these sites? What are the different things that I need to look into? If even if I'm giving five minutes on a project that takes ten days to do, what are the things that I need to look into? How do I really test a web page, a website? So I'm going to go through that using the site that you guys already started with, and then also because. And to see, I will also be t telling you how I'm going to be automating those sites as I go. But it's going to be we yeah, boring, theoretical, but I'll, I'll try to make it make make it as fun as possible. So, okay, let's continue. All right. So now we going to do the exploratory testing. Uh, of the site that you guys are working on. So we'll go to the pre prod. This is the site. So first thing first is when you let me log out. So the first thing is you do register. So when you are looking at the first site, the first one is the visual representation of difference of the site to see is it following the right uh, layout, the design. Can you see the screen? I'm sure you cannot see the screen. Yeah. Uh, Okay, all right, cool. So let's go. So the first one is that when you're looking, let's say this is a form right now, I want to test quickly. So what do I need to do? The first one is first name, last name. I can see everything is fine with this. And yeah, there's no typo. Everything seems to be fine. So 
what do I need to do? Then the one, the first thing is, let me try to register. I should be able to see, yeah, all this should be required feed and they are showing. So my first name. So then enter again. So I can see the required feeds have been alighted that they are required. So basically, so, and that goes like that. So then last. Okay, so register. So then all this needs to be looking to to see if there's no typo. Then also this is fine. The text is there is okay. The text is there is okay. Everything aligns together. So you need to look into that. So and also you need to look into how the text is written. The forms is okay. So quickly you need to look into that. So then let's try to log in. So I will log in through Facebook and then so the same way you can see that this is fine. So let's say try a login in so that is not so and yeah, so you can see that is fine. You need to look into that text, it is really fine. So okay. So let me go. Okay, so this is me right now. So now what do I need to look into? So the next one you take your requirement and see what the requirement says about this. So first thing on the home page, right? Look at different the layouts of the home page. It is fine. Yeah. So and you look into all functionalities. So for exploratory testing, you may not have functionalities. Then you need to use your experience because exploratory testing, it is an experience based testing. So you need to look into how that is done based on your experience. But yeah. So let's go quickly to posting, right? So if we post an item quickly. So now I'm going to tell you different techniques that we need to use testing item. So I can add, I can see that those ones are required. So I need, I need to, so for instance, this should not be there. So I will raise this as a bug. 
So we're going to look into that. So testing description. So uh, select one. So that is added. So the next one also now to go to the item on that page. So you're looking at the details that you supplied and you are going to confirm that details are correct. So like the item you posted is an offer, then this is the person that posted it and this is the address that you gave and it's posted on that particular uh, categories and posted on that so and this is your description and so you just verify everything that you posted that are right and are correct so basically that's what you need to do in that so that's the first one that you need to do then also if you if you go back again to see what you could also test it on that form so so here also you could try to say when the spec says is a weight, there's no weight of zero. You try zero and you should not accept it. You try the maximum weight that can happen. You could. So that's you using your equivalent partitioning even in this particular case and also combining it with boundary value analysis. That's where you can actually use it. I think this one question that someone actually asked at that particular time to see how what when you're using this particular techniques where exactly can you use it so yeah so in this particular case you can see there's nothing like weight of zero so you can put zero you should not accept it let's try to see if that is what has been done so um, testing zero weight so let's copy that So we'll put this, we change that to a different font, okay. So, yes. so we said zero. So this is from New York. So and at least we don't we don't want any file to be uploaded we click on add so it said you need one file so let's put this in all right so you can see it's actually accepted the weight as so So normally I think it should not, so you something that you can actually raise with the QA, so with, with the BA to see that you should not accept um, zero weight. So, and you could continue doing that. So another thing also you can also look into is to see if all the items or description or the all the feeds that you um, posted there are displayed. Your item name is it displayed there? Yeah, that's that. So you look into description; it is displayed. Uh, categories; it is is category displayed. Yeah, that's various. So as you can see, I posted two categories, but it's only showing one category. So you need to look into that. So one category is posted is listed instead of two categories that I posted then so which is is a bug so what you can do is you can create a bug you know how to create a bug and you go into your story your board let's go to the springs 
Also, you could, you could as well just create a bug from here also. You can click on that and create a new bug. And put the name of that particular bug. You can say, what the is, is that? One category is displayed. So then you put the steps, create. So I would say we can use the given and close. So this is you are uh, you should test on a QA environment. Don't test on live. This is not live anyway. This this is a pre prod. So and I I will, I will show you one thing. There are different environments that you people test from, right? Developers will have their local environment, which is their development machine, the machine that they are using to develop. Then after that, they can also have their dev server that where they upload these things and they test it on the server. Then after that, you have like a QA environment where you do your testing on a QA. And maybe before release, they can also create an environment for you. So which going to be a new environment? Why is that? Because one, your environment might already be corrupted. There are other things on that environment. So you don't want, you want to have a fresh environment to test lots of things. So, and then there's an environment that is called pre-prod. That is pre-production. So basically that, that's like this. So pre-production sometimes will be similar or close to the live environment so that you test in an environment that is not live, but it's close to the live environment. That is basically what you have right now. So we have a pre-prod, so that's it. This is not different the in live environment. If you want to go to the live environment, that's what you have. So that is the, this one takes us to the live, this is what we have in the live environment. But if you go to the pre-prod, it's different. So it's a new version that's not yet live, pre-prod. So that's what you have. So I hope that answers that questions. So for the coursework, we are going to be using, okay. For the coursework, it's okay to use the pre-prod one, right? Because that will have the updated version of the site. So it's going to have the pre-prod environment. So it's okay to use that one. Okay, cool. All right, let's continue. So like I said, I said you need to uh, confirm that all the fields that is posted are submitted. I think I've lost that. So, okay. All right, let's continue. The next one, I said, I will try to finish right on time. I think this. The next one that you need to look into, let's say community, is when you can create different communities and invite people to join. So on that. So let's go to that. So you create communities. So, so this is my community. So then you can create a new community. So what's the name of the community? My do sky community. Community type we are educational location. Preferred. We want to make it public. Then, so let's just put that. Okay. 
so this is my community that I just created I am so you just need to do the same thing confirm that what you posted it also shows so for instance what you posted is about the community and this is the text that you posted and yeah this doesn't look good anyway this is not supposed to be because this is my profile picture and doesn't have to appear on my community so you can actually raise that as a bug so okay I think we are trying to raise this as a bug so let me close that one so I can raise this as a bug user uh, profile page is displayed as a community profile page so I was looking at this I said given I create a community when I go to the community Oh, how do you automate? Yeah. So, okay. So the question, how do you automate? Choose five. Let's click on edit. So you want to do this? Oh, this is impressive. <laughs> yeah, that's another bug. So you could also raise that. I think in. We also went through how to do screenshots, right? So let's try to see if there's a screenshot. Oh no. Okay. I think we did a screenshot from our, what's it called? Test file. Right. Oh, sorry. This is not the, this is not the right one so this is not the this is not this is the blue sky one so, so okay so if we go in there I'll come to your question about how to automate file it's easy it's so so easy so uh, so I think okay yeah so this is what we did and you can actually do a screenshot of your Oh, okay. This is now installed. This is a new laptop I'm using. Okay, so you just click on install anyway, and that install that for you on Chrome. You can add it. So add the extension. So, okay, I'm not going to do that right now. So, okay, no problem. So you just need to, yeah, once you install that, it allows you to do a screenshot of the page. So this is another issue. Also, you could use the snipping tool. So then you go, if you go here, yeah, snipping tool, that allows you to snip what you're looking for. So let's put that up. So you can, yeah put that like that then you can copy and if you go to your what we have is then because this I don't need this any longer So 
let's say I create a new bug. So you can paste that one in there and that's it. And you can write whatever you want to write to that. So, so there's someone complaining he cannot see my screen. Can you see right now? Because or is it only one person? So all right. Okay, let me know if you if everyone can see my screen. So all right, the next one I'm going to do. Okay, yeah. So one question about how to automate, yeah, how to um, automate your file. So it's so simple, like you send this basically. So what you need to do is you click inspect that element. Okay. So inspect this particular file. So this is the element that you want to send it. You click on it, then you send it to the okay. Oh, that's the ID file. So you click on that choose file, then you use your send keys. So, oh, okay, I, I think I actually s s spoke about this. So I don't know what to do. Let's assume I don't know what to do yet, which I don't know. So, and then I need to search on Google what to do. So I, I need to know how to search. I need to know what I'm looking for. So how to automate. By upload in the name web driver. Like I said, I told some guys also the issue that you are finding. Bear in mind that it will not be only you that's actually been in that situation before. So there are other people that would been in that situation before. So if you just Google, you'll be able to yeah get help. So let's look at this one. So and it's saying how to upload or download file using Selenium web driver. So what you need to do for this session, you'll be using this particular site and then so this is you click on that file and so as you can see, so you inspect that choose file. So and this is ID the same thing that I was doing here. Also you have your ID, right? So you select that element. So the next one is for, so let's go back. This is Java, but there's no difference between Java and C Sharp anyway. So the first one is when you inspect your element, like so. This is you inspecting the element, this is the ID. Then the next one, like I said, is so simple. Then you just send your keys. So the first one, your element is stored in a web element, in a web element. Then after that, you just send your keys, what you want to type, and that's it. So this one is saying send keys, that particular, uh, yeah. But what you need to do, you now need to just put the path of that particular element, where you store that element, or where you store that image, rather, and you put it there, and that's it, it's done. So I, I think this is the two steps that you need basically. So that's how it works and that's it. So from this page that they said, if you look, let's go to that page. So yeah, so that's it. When you click on that, you put what you want to put and that does it and it's even easier than in the manual, right? Because what you just need to do is start. So what you just need to do is inspect your element, that send button, you, you go to there. And then just say that particular element dot send keys and the path to where your key. Um, so for instance, you just need to locate your element where you saw. 
that maybe it's on the desktop you just put it that's it okay cool so let's continue okay so that's mm. so and the same way also some people don't actually use uh what they call it any tools you might also find yourself in that situation where you work in a place that doesn't use any tool and you have to be using i think i started with manual testing as i uh, i started the training also using i think excel So I'm trying to look at the other one. It, it will be among these tests to be honest class two or class three whichever i'm not i'm not sure right now so so if you can look into that as well i use uh what they call it microsoft excel to actually do the testing so like i said in some cases you might also need to put your test in there so and your book you might need to put it in word so what you need to do is just write it so like say oh, when i create a when i try to edit a community the image is not displayed properly So it's basically I remember when I was in uh I learned about um, testing so it's like you don't know how to test you don't know what to do so basically this is uh, what we are actually doing right now so we've been able to find a bug and instantly we will put that as simple as that as long as you can be able to other person that you are sending it to can understand what you are writing about I know in some cases you might put more words than this. So let's continue. So then the next part also is to invite people into the community. Now your community that you own, I think this was zero before, it is now one. So which is because now you have, so you can as well use uh, your techniques here yeah? and see that community is zero and also you know that zero is part of the communities you have zero community then you add one communities in terms of pending requests you should be able to see all this number increasing so you can use your boundary value analysis there yeah? and yeah so then let's view the community and okay like the one with the zero community let's see how that is going to look like as you can see it doesn't look yeah it doesn't click anything so so that seems to be a bug because one that is showing that i've got three communities there so but when you click on that it doesn't yeah it doesn't show anything the community you are a member so that so the same way also you could also do that 
So for this, you might need more than one screenshot. So so one I can put a screenshot uh, let me put it in word so number two uh, what do I need to say So the steps to create you also need to put in there. So let's say um, go to my dashboard. The community. So in this, you can circle the one that you want, and so that you can be, you can see. So I copy that. So this is I have three. So then that's it. So that's another bug that you raised. So so let's continue. <laughs> okay, because I am actually using yeah the question what to did I use to circle it? I am using a touch screen uh, laptop, so I use my hand. My hand is the it's my hand as a tool, basically. <laughs> but you can you can also use your mouse. So let's say, but it's only that it's not going to look nice like that. That's my mouse now. So that's my mouse. Yeah. And yeah, you can clean up. Yeah, remove it and also you can as well a light to be honest so I can see that yeah. for those guys that also use uh, yeah if you use powerpoints you can use powerpoint to, to do that I think PowerPoint also has got insert screenshot. Yeah, you can do screenshot from there. So for instance, let's say I am on this now and I go to PowerPoint and you can say insert screenshot. You can do that. So you can so with PowerPoint then you can now put your shades. I can say yeah. I can do this like that. 
So then I don't want it to be filled. No fill. Yeah. So something like that. So maybe that might be presentable. So then you can copy. Even I think in Word that you are doing also in Word that we're using, you can do that. I'll do the next one. Let's continue. So there's a question. Please, can you show how to create account portal on community? Can you show how to create account portal? I don't understand what that means. So. I don't understand what that means. Okay. All right. Maybe the user story is wrong, to be honest. So you don't create account portal. So what I, um, you go to the community, right? You can, maybe this is what he's talking about. Like I told you, the BA also, they are interns like you. They don't know what they're writing about. So you need to bear with them. So also that that's why I said you need to also probe what they are writing if it makes sense. So if it doesn't make sense, you need to talk to them. I've also put some most of them in your group. So what you need to do is just create you can create a new community. So basically when you create a new community, then you can invite people to join your community. So let's say that is two or one. So and let me say I I save this. Let's put that in on the picture caption. So I say this is corporation now, and this is in London. is private so by private means other people should not see it so and I want to go to the picture okay so I want let me just put this is my private one okay, okay. so then if I go to the, I should be able to see the, yeah. So, okay. All right, now, let's now check. So what I need to do, I need to log in as a different profile then and see if other profile can see this private um, community. So let me go to another profile. Okay, so this is another profile that I've opened. It's got a different profile, so then if I paste this, so that is not working. So apparently the name is the picture is the picture of the user that is showing, which is not totally right. So I think it might be right because it's not showing that this is yeah. Okay, let's go to the second one, the one that's the public one. The public one is this one. This is this one.
So let's log in on a different profile. Okay. So let's compare both of them. Let's go to, let's go again to the private one. So, yeah, technically, you should not, you should not, you should not be able to see. So, and this is the private, you should not see. So, it's showing the same thing. Oh, okay. This is the image that we uploaded, so I was a bit confused. So, but you should not, you should not see it. So, okay. So you can as well erase that one. So let's edit that because it's confusing. Yeah, that's. So let's say download. So that also is an uh, issue not to remove that. So So basically, this is used um, confirming that there's no security issue. Private uh, community are meant to be private. They are not meant to be seen by other people. So even if they are seen like so, the details should, should be yeah disabled. And you can see it's even seen the members in that group, which is not. Even if you are seeing the about, of that particular group, you should not see the members. You should not, okay. So that is not right. So I'm going to raise that debug. Let's say this is uh, bug number three. So then now here yeah, we're going to use the screenshot, right? Out the screenshot from Word. So let's put our text first. So private mm, community is seen by the users. then you can say only the description So now to insert the screenshot, you can go to insert and you can say screenshot and you can do that or you can use the creeping, yeah, 
you can yeah, let's do the cripple one so you can crop it I don't want that, so let me do that again. Insert screenshot. Okay, so I can delete the one previous one. Okay, it's gone anyway. Okay, so yeah, that is that. So let's go and then we'll wrap it up. If you have any question, so I think we already covered most of the thing that I think it's. So there are other stories I don't know. Just so if I'm going to be this is what I'm going to be doing like every day I walk. So going through the site, making sure it meets what the requirement says and establishing that there's no issues. So the last thing I want I would do is uh, posting into the community and seeing that it is displayed in that particular community. So if I go into post Okay, so not here. So I go into that community. I should be able to post into this community. Post. The coursework, yeah, I don't want to labor you too much to be honest. So the coursework is only for automation, it's not for manual. So only automation. Course work is only for automation. One minute, let's continue. So now let's post. So we basically posting into this group. So which is a private group. Okay, so so now I've posted items into this group, but I don't, I can't even, I, I don't even know what items are there. So that should be. Yeah. 
so I can raise another bug and say item displayed for the group and not displayed so insert So the same thing also for the shared one also you can also go into the my communities So you can also do post That is crap, to be honest. That's not I want a full image. Yeah, something like this. So yeah, I can decide to reduce the size so that I developer can see what I'm talking about so so if I go back to the world then I can do this one
also then you can write on it you can do the same thing insert and you can insert picture what's the no the shapes yeah and you can do like that no field I don't want it to be filled so that's it or you can so I know some people will just put arrows right and say this is what I'm talking about and that's it and remove that one you can remove you can factor so what I change the and change the weight or something like that I want to put in red yeah. so then also you could draw all right and say yeah so you can use your hands if you are using touch screen or you can use the again, you can use your mouse so let's draw and I can use my mouse to say this is what I want this is yeah okay let's continue I'll do the last one now so that's on the so in terms of wish list so you can go to wish list create a new wish list so create a new is my blue sky wish list location Provision date Okay, that's wish list quarter for myself. And then you can go to view this is the wish list. No, that is for so you can select the community that you want it to be into and you can share with the community. Okay, I want to share with this community also that is now good also a great piece of information with stuff that you can read that the bulk is not yeah so and that also the format is not right you can read that the bulk so graduation location this is the layout is not that kind of great okay maybe it's my screen okay all right that's fine so it's my screen so that's okay. So let's go back and go to our community. Then we can check the community that we've seen and see those items have been posted there. Share this list. Yeah, exactly. So you can see that that wish list is coming. So I've already shared this wish list with my community. And then we can view the wish list from there. Okay, well, you can see this is another issue now. So, when they view the wish list now, the item is not displayed, the picture is not displayed. So, you can raise that as a bug mark. So, you can go. Six.
So it's now I need to inside. Okay, so all right, that is that. So lastly, I would I think we also use Trello. So I'll just quickly do that. So on Trello, I think we have Blue Sky. So mana testing. So you can also create a new card. Put let's say this is. Oh, let's go through with that again. So let's say invite, you can also invite people. So I want to invite the G. So I want to invite the G. Right. Test.com. So I invite the. So that invited and so this is the issue now. So after this I think this should be yeah. So let's use that also. So this form should be deleted and this is no so let's go through this. So I do a screenshot of this. The first thing that is one. This one needs to be removed. So so I copy that. I can use Trello then. Is this kind of work. Okay, so I can create, you can say, invitation. Work. So you go into the, and put your descriptions of what you want to say. Number one, typo, and invite. Then number two, what's that issue? Remove, what's it called? Mm. The form, form settings. Then you can put the screenshot. And then save, that's it. That's number seven. All right, that's what we're going to do today. That's the end. So basically what we're going through is like, this is just like a practical session. If you are going to be doing minor testing, how do you go about testing a website? And what do you look for? As you can see, I've gone through different ways to also um, create bugs and different things that you look into when you are raising your bugs. How do you put, yeah. And also things that not actually add because what I'm actually put doing right now is very, very ad hoc. So when you are going to be adding your box, I think we discussed it last time. So you need your title. You need your steps to create it. You need logs. You need screenshots. You need so which most of them uh what you're going to see it's there. Yeah. If you go if you're using like a tool like this, you would get all these things as 
inside asset plan criteria discussion what you need so basically then also we spoke about the priority and also the severity so in in that order so and yeah so that is that basically so any question yeah it is recorded so any question so we call it say all right if there's no question i think that's us for tonight so thanks everyone for yeah it's been awesome joining so and if you have not fed in your feedback form please do feel it. it's going to help us for next time we do some nothing like that so and it's good to to get that feedback from the students so yeah so please do that feed it feedback form and let us know what you think about it mostly especially about the coursework if it's too much, if it's too little. So that helps us to gauge whether we do put too much coursework or it's not enough. So please do fill in the feedback. Thank you so much. So like uh, I will just retreat. So we'll meet again physically on the six on the second of June. Second of June, that is going to be the graduation and also the matriculation for the new set. So, if you're interested in the Java one, so I'm expecting not to see some people there. So, well, they're yeah, okay, they're also free to join yeah, because it's not going to be C sharp of the Java. But if they do join, they are going to be team leads or mentor in other areas. So, yeah. So, because they are in terms of looking at the market, you see more jobs, uh, you see jobs in C Sharp and so, so you see in Java. So, you don't limit yourself, even if you've done the training in C Sharp, also, it's also good to know how to do it in Cucumber. And to be honest, it might then be easier for you at that particular time because some of those things that you don't understand that in this particular training, you'll be able to understand them. So, and one is easier than the other. I don't want to say which one is easier than the other. So, but yeah, so, okay. All right, that is the, okay. I think that's everything. Yeah, come on for better lesson. So, and yeah, and the deadline for the coursework is uh, 5th of May, 5th of May. If you can do it earlier, that would be brilliant, to be honest. So, 5th of May. I think we can do it within a month, isn't it? Okay. So April 17th, please. So that I also will have time to give feedback. So to be honest, so uh, 17th of April, one month from this time, please. I think. So then by mid of April, I will, I should be able to, yeah, wish all the teams should be able to give you feedback. And also, I want to also thank all the mentors. So that I've joined the team of my co uh, lecturers. So I want to say thank you to everyone. So and all those volunteers. So that have been helping us. It's been an awesome journey. So that we've gone through this together. So. One minute and two. Yeah. So yeah. So we have a lot of them that are joined. So and also, if you want to join us for the next session as a volunteer, please get in touch to with me, and I can add you. It's been an experience. It's something that you can also put in your CV that you've been able to do volunteer. I also add this on my CV that I do this also. And yeah, so it's something that you you get pride about. So and I want to say thanks to yeah, Biola, Femi, Kemi, Mobolaji, Mumin, Oyi, and we also have Pastor Amos, Pastor Shola, Pastor Tunde, Pastor Titu, and also Pastor Itine, and also Tokpe Shudende. So thanks everyone for making this work easier for myself and also for 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 the team and also 
thanks also to all the interns and everyone that has been coping with my sound, my blabbing for the last three or four months. Yeah, thanks for staying yeah with, with me. So and so I will see you next time. So if you want to join the next, I'll see you in the, in the next training. Or if not, I'll see you at the graduation. Thanks everyone. So I'll be blessed.